Hey guys, well today I'm giving you another Bad Day of News story. It's been a while since I gave you one. I'm going to go to Joe Pizza and Tommy Karate. Now, before Tommy Karate killed Joe Pizza, Joe Pizza was a tough guy in the neighborhood. Bad Day Avenue, Bensonhurst, Gravesend. Joe Pizza's last name was Joey DeColby. Joey DeColby was a Brooklyn guy. Grew up boxing, fed guy, tough guy. Nobody fucked with him. Growing up, looking up to Joey to Colby, he was a scary guy. He was on Anthony Sparrow's payroll. Sparrow used him to shake other establishments down. Joe Pizza was a dangerous guy. He wasn't the type of guy to walk up to you and kill you because he could kill you with his bare hands. The guy was a beast, literally a beast. He hit a guy in the face with a punch in the neighborhood and he put his face on the other side. That's how tough he was. I remember growing up, me and John Polio, we used to fist fight. We would go in a hallway next door from Fat Sal's Pizzeria and we would go at it. Bang, bang, bang. And one day, Joe Pizza walks in and he grabs both of our heads and he bunks them together. And he told you ever fucking fight in this hallway again? Next time you're going to deal with me. And there was a lot of incidents with Joe Pizza. There was one time when uh, something was missing from a pizzeria. Somebody stole something. It was a wallet. Something was missing. And Joe Peach is looking for my brother, Joey Milano, and some other kid, Dave Dirt, and I think Joey Antonora. And he finds my brother, and he told my brother, you better replace this. If not, if it ain't there by 12 o'clock noon, then I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to give you a fucking beating. So my brother ends up telling my mother. My mother goes to Sparrow on Bay 16th and Bath, and Sparrow talks to him. But Joe Pizza was not someone to mess with. Now, there's a meeting one time. Tommy Karate, captain, was Frankie Lino. Frankie Lino was Avenue U, Gravesend. Sparrow was Bath Avenue. Now, Tommy Karate knew Sparrow. He had a lot of dealings with a lot of uh, wise guys back in the day. Big drug guy, Tommy, a uh, killer. Killed a lot of people. That's what his MO was, chopping people up and killing people. He was a moneymaker, drug dealer. And he was a thug on the street. Tommy Karate was a thug, literally a thug. Uh, a lot of people feared him because of the crew he ran with. He was known to dismember people. And uh, in all honesty, Tommy should have got killed on the street. 100% someone should have killed him out there. He should have never, ever been a part of the mob. A guy like him becoming a part of the mob does not make the mob look good. So one day, Anthony Sparrow takes a ride with Joe Pizza to Avenue U. There's a sit down with Tommy Karate and Frankie Lino. The sit down is about some drugs in the neighborhood and some kind of bar establishment that's going on. Now Joe Pizza goes to the sit down with Anthony Sparrow. And Joe Pete is talking about a bar that he is shaking down. This person that owns the bar runs to Frankie Lino. And Frankie Lino brings Tommy Karate. Joe, Pizza, and Sparrow go to the meeting. Now, Tommy's eyeballing Joe Pizza. He sees that he's like 6'2". Joe Pizza's a solid guy. He'll hit you, break your face open. Easy. 
and Tommy Karate's a mad dog killer. He'll kill you in a fucking heartbeat. Chop you up, put in a bag, bury you, and forget about you. Go eat a burger. That's how Tommy Karate was. So I had to sit down Joey Kobe saying, the guy who owns the bar, the guy pays him weekly. Now this guy had enough for Joe Pizza. He reaches out to Frankie Lino. And Frankie Lino brings Tommy Karate to the sit down. I guess to intimidate Joe Pizza. Now at this time, nobody intimidated Joe Pizza because Joe Pizza thought that he's capable too of killing somebody. Joe Pizza is capable of pulling the trigger. Joe Pizza is capable of murdering somebody. Eventually, Joe Pizza wants to get straightened out too. That's what it's all about, right? Getting straightened out, getting your button, and then eventually doing your own thing, having your own license to do your own thing and eventually getting your own crew. So Joe Pizza puts together a crew. His crew day puts together Jughead, some guy Joe, a couple other guys. All these guys end up doing dope. Joe Pizza is shaking down all these wise guys' establishments. He's demanding money from them. And he's thinking that when... He's extorting them that they're forgetting about him. Meanwhile, they're complaining about him to Anthony Sparrow and all these other wise guys complaining to Joe Butch. All these guys have establishments, whether it's located in Sheepshead Bay, Bensonhurst, Gravesend, Bay Ridge. These wise guys own establishments. And Joe Pizza is going around to all these wise guys' local bars and he's shaking them down in a nice way, saying, you know what? You mind if uh, I have a few drinks? And he's walking in there with Jughead, some guy Joe, a couple other guys that are fucking a little mentally disturbed. And these guys don't look like wise guys. These guys are re regular street hoodlums. But Joe Peach is forming his own crew and Tommy Karate sees this. So at the sit down, Frankie Lino tells Sparrow what's going on. Joe Pizza's shaking down this establishment. And Joe Pizza's saying, yeah, I shake him down. I don't take a lot of money off him. He gives me $100 a week, $150. Meanwhile, the guy that owns the bar is connected to a wise guy. And Sparrow is looking at Joe Pizza. And he knows that Joe Pizza is losing it. He's not as sharp as he used to be. He's starting to do dope. He's on drugs. His eyes are red. He's smoking pot. Eventually, these wise guys, they get sick of you. When you become a problem, the best way to get rid of the problem is to get rid of you. And that's what they do. They do it in so many instances. They did it to Louis Tuzio. They did it with Colombo guys. And if you're a weak link... They'll get rid of you. And eventually, Joe Pizza gets in a car with Tommy Karate. Tommy Karate tells him, yeah, we got to go do something. We're going to, uh, you know, take care of something. Sparrow tells Joe Pizza, take a ride with Tommy. Now, in that life, when you take a ride with somebody, you don't know if you're coming back, especially a guy like Tommy Karate. And that's what sucks so much about that life. What sucks about that life is when they call you in, you have to come. It's like if I'm in that life and I'm with Tommy Reynolds, Joey Calco, Sparrow, or the guy we work goes, you know, take a ride with uh, Joey and Tommy. You know, you got to take care of something. Now, I don't know if Joey and Tommy is looking to kill me or I might be looking to kill them. But in that life, you have to trust somebody. And trusting the right person is life and death. Look at Paul E.G. He trusted his friends. He thought his friends were his friends, but they weren't his friends. And that's what this life is all about. I'm never, ever going to look at that life and say anything nice about it. There's nothing nice about it. That life destroyed my friends' lives, my life, my friends were murdered, went to prison. I went to jail at the age of 23. 
And there's nothing good about that life. And all the guys out there who think that that life is a good life, you're a fucking insane, you're a sick, you need to get your head examined. Go to work, work hard, create a family, and live a good life. Freedom. Make some good friends. If you meet good people, keep them in your life. Because it's hard to find good people today. Look at the world what is producing as far as people. The world is getting worse and worse. It's not getting nicer and nicer. And I also noticed that the more popular you get, the more people hate you. That's pretty comical, ain't it? But guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Joe Pizza was a tough motherfucker, scary guy. Tommy Karate was also a scary guy. But at the end, Tommy Karate waxed Joe Pizza. And Joe Pizza thought he was invincible. But Joe Pizza trusted Sparrow. And Sparrow told Joe Pizza, get in the car with Tommy. And that was the last time Joe Pizza was seen alive with Tommy Karate. But it's a bad Avenue story. I tell you, a lot of treachery in that life. Anyone who likes that life, go get your head examined. There's nothing good about that life. Everyone have a good day. It's Friday. My videos, I'm going to be doing videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And one day during the weekend, I'm going to go live and maybe with a guest. So there's a lot to look forward to. Happy New Year to everyone out there. Stay safe. Be blessed. Give your life to God. Do the right thing. And pick your friends wisely. Growing up, I had a great childhood. As I was growing up, my friends, no longer my friends, they became gangsters. You know a little of the story, them, call, them killing Paulie G and a whole bunch of people cooperating who got murdered, who's going to jail. But I do the best I can every day to make my life better. Every day I'm making my crooked pass right. Whether people like it or not, I don't care. This is my life. I'm going to live it. I'm going to do the right thing with it. With that said, everyone, have a great weekend. I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye, guys.